You ever wonder why I have to do so many preps to handle the green screen? Look at behind me, and that's why. That is how bright it is outside behind me. Anyway, good kitten to turn Let me go fix this. This is about as best as it's going to get, so apologies. Anyway, good kitten internet. It's been a while. Um, let's go ahead and start things. One moment. Right. Hopefully audio is set properly. We're going to find out. It is not. Along with a weird slowdown there, but audio capture is not working. Oh, because I'm using a different headset. Um, now it should be working properly. There we go. Okay. Um, I should have also had audio drop in volume for game audio, so we'll find out. What is it, Asin? He was sleeping right behind the green screen. Immediately before. Um... Oh, right. I should make a copy of the save. I don't think I did. One moment. There we go. And let's get an Asin KP on video. So, um, let's see. It's been a few weeks. Uh, apologies. Let me drop my volume a little bit. Ah, a bit of you very stressful and poor mental health week, shall we say. So, we're going to the temple, and I'll talk more about my week while we're playing, but... Uh, I remember that this was... I took one look and went, okay, yeah, this is gonna take a little while. I seem to remember the layout as well. Yeah. Wait, no, I did this one. I know I did this one. Didn't mean to hit from the beginning. Ah, load from backup RAM. Did I use cart RAM? I used cart RAM, that's why. Okay. That makes more sense. There we go, Fairy Isle. That's better. So, um, yeah, this has not been a great time mental health wise. Uh, my imposter syndrome was beating the pure living crap out of me for fairly obvious reasons, given that I'm in a job that I'm not qualified for. Um, or more specifically, what it is is that I'm in a job that I don't feel as though I'm qualified for, mostly because it's a position that I've never done before. Okay. That's four archers. They're going to be able to reach this turn. Cool. Um, we're going to use Ash right here. Let's throw down some magic. I mean, honestly, P waving is not the worst of ideas. There are a lot of enemies on this battle. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so, anyway, um,. Work stress, I think, was what was really getting to me. They'll keep their healers busy. There's a lot of targets. And P Wave is hitting everybody for half their hit points that aren't. And every non mage, I should say. And my cats have been crying quite a bit more lately than normal. Which is not great. Let's see, what else has been going on? Um, we're dead. One 
one thing I don't know is if an archer can attack from over here and hit. I'm just going to move here because I seem to remember that I have really high defense at the moment. Anyway, um... So yeah, there's that. There's been the sheer amount of pain that I've been dealing with for a while now. I'm dealing with a lot of pain at the moment as well, but that is due to high blood pressure. Um, long story short, I have blood pressure issues, and the pain that I've been dealing with, gout, um, turns out that it's due to my blood pressure medication. And... As a result, the doctor took me off of some of my blood pressure medication, so my blood pressure has been a bit higher, and I've been dealing with a large number of headaches lately. Um, those are mostly blood pressure spikes. I'm going to be talking with my doctor on Monday. Basically go, hey look, I'm experiencing a lot of blood pressure spikes. This ain't good. How do I fix? So it probably means even more tweaking around with my blood pressure meds, which sucks. I hate dealing with that. Yeah, I understand why you healed there. So I mean I'm happy about it. Interesting, you only healed two people. I guess their algorithm must be based off of healing the most amount of hit points. Uh, you're hitting Ash from the front, that's not gonna work. You can't hit Ash from the front. You're gonna hit Clint. Yep, Clint will probably be successful. Yeah. But I made sure that only Clint's front was being exposed. Isin, please stop with the crying. My cats crying constantly are not helping things. Um, they're crying because I'm in distress, basically. Oh, you are that big of an idiot. You're an even bigger idiot. What is it? Oh, I know why he's crying. Litter box down in the basement is full. This one's going to be the one that hurts. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Clint can take it. Okay. Go ahead and save. Okay. What have we got left? That's a big bunching of people. Oh, right, it's... You're the one with the better dragon spell. It's been a while. That, oh. That's actually a much larger area of effect than I thought it was. Well, oh, good enough. Lost dragons! So, um... Yeah, I haven't been feeling great as a result of that. So I keep feeling like I barely have any time to myself. Oh wow, actually gonna be able to take out the Warlock. That was significantly more successful than I expected. And actually, it looks like I might be able to take out all three. This turn, I mean. Match. So let's see, what's been going on? Um, lots of work, because that's all I feel like I've been doing lately. It's almost as though I have a new job. Um, you're trying to die. Still need to deal with the hawk that's in the middle of things, but that's fine. Get him in the back. You're dead. need to make sure I heal Clint. Because he is badly injured. That'll work. Probably 
probably should have had Ash just pull out another Plasma Wave to kill off a lot of the other enemies. Thinking about it, that would have been smart. Oh well, too late now. Poor Dolan being useless as usual. Feel bad for Dolan. Um, let's see, what's been going on otherwise? Well, you've been hearing the cats crying. Well, you probably haven't, because this microphone doesn't pick them up very well. It only picks up Boo for some reason. Anyway, um, I've been barely keeping myself together, basically. Uh, up until a couple of days ago, I finally broke out of the funk a couple of days ago, so that's been nice. wave um so i haven't really had time to work on much of anything this is the first time that i've been recording anything in a while um yes i'm still working on the wild arms video but that one i've all i've been doing is research i haven't actually recorded anything yet and that's gonna take me a bit i assume cry i assume just murring constantly is gonna drive me batty He's upset because his preferred litter box is the one that's in the basement, which is the one that I intentionally leave a while, because I don't want them to use the basement litter box. His litter box upstairs should be fine, although I might want to double check that. Uh, timing wise, it's probably getting close to changing time, and I need to go through and empty them all out. I'd love to clean them out, but that takes so much work, so much effort, and requires outside to not be a frozen wasteland. Admittedly, today it's actually fairly warm outside. It's currently 8 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's what? 46-ish in freedom units. Um, so it's actually relatively nice outside. I can't reach. But my cats have been doing this for a while now. They're worried about me. I understand that, but it's definitely not helping my stress situation when they're crying because they typically use the styles of cries that make me think that they're hurt or injured, and they're not. Okay, I'm gonna need somebody to stand here to push down and... Yeah. That should be it, because I should be able to climb over everything else. Busy healing. These battles are so much uh, so easy when you have well this. I'm only gonna charge ten, so that's actually not enough for Ash to get another thing off meant to do that last turn where it would be, but it didn't. So that kind of stinks. I could use an item, I guess. You know what? Why not use an item? What else am I going to use them for, right? Get a reach with an item for... yes. Not magic. Life orb. Ash, done. Wow, turns blue? Why is it turning blue? I don't get it. Ash, you're going to stand here. P wave. I'm not gonna be able to take those three out, but that's fine. I don't want to. Now, why did they turn blue all of a sudden? Am I having graphical glitch on the Saturn emulator again? Out of curiosity. 
curiosity. Can you actually shoot across? No. On the plus side, the presence of a healer means that I don't have to worry about accidentally killing everybody, because everybody else remaining are melee units, or are ranged units. So I'm going to want to gank the warlock, leave the healer alive, and gank the archer eventually. I hate it when it narrows down like that. It makes it really annoying to move troops through. Yeah, honestly. And I move over there. Although, Elanai is practically useless at this point. Which is sad. Oh, I finally woke them up. Warlock's coming out to say hi. Which is fine. I can take Warlock hit, given that there's only one. Okay. Whoosh. We're done. We're gonna hop over to the other side. A lot of vertical height, but I can't do anything about that because I can't push through two boxes at once, right? Right. Um, so there's nothing I can do about the height problem. there because I'm going to want an archer. Admittedly, I'd prefer Kira over Diego, but that's fine. I don't think Kira could have reached anyway. No. Kira will go next. Then Hux. Then Elanai, I guess. Yep, that'll have to do. And yeah, turn whatever direction you want out of here. Yeah, I haven't been saving between turns because I haven't really done much. I mean, the Warlock is just being able to attack this turn for the first time. I'll save this turn. Um, it's only been 18 minutes, jeez. You can't reach. You certainly can. You can actually kill them. No. Good to know. What do I have that's going to hit? Dark fire? Dark fire would hit. Uh, do I have anything else that would hit that might hit for more? I mean, Dynamo Hum would be great if I was next to them, but I'm not. Um, that's range zero, so that's not going to work. I'm getting to the less useful things. I'm thinking it's going to end up being Dark Fire. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can have Ash just Life Orb himself. This is how ridiculous Ash is. Do you understand this? Anyway. Um, oh yeah, I should probably talk about other things. Um, so... Ooh, eagles. Man, yeah, why not? Necklace time! We're dead. Not as concerned about the warlock. So anyway, um, other things. Uh, let's see, I had some honestly fairly amazing Jamaican food yesterday. Well, day before I had leftovers yesterday. Um, so a new Jamaican restaurant opened up in a nearby mall. Which, this being COVID times, mall doesn't help me, but they have delivery. So I decided, okay, it's a little weird to me to order delivery from a mall, but I did. And their food, their menu changes based off of what day of the week it is. Oh, why the hell not? 
Um, and I, this was on a Friday. Today's Sunday, for reference. Uh, it's probably going to be the same day this is uploaded. Um, I, one of the things that they had was jerk chicken Alfredo. That is one of the best, and it's definitely, actually, it's the best chicken Alfredo I've ever had. The jerk chicken taste goes along really well with Alfredo sauce. Never would have thought about that. Um... Let's see. And then the other thing that I ordered was... Well, I tried to order... Ah, uh, why am I blanking on the name now? Hold on, let me... Look, because I commented about it. Uh, oxtail. Which is the tail of a cow. Used to be tail of an ox, but it's now tail of a cow. And... Unfortunately, they were out of that, but I instead got um, curried goat. Curried goat was decent. It wasn't exactly my number one choice, but but it was pretty decent. But that um, jerk chicken Alfredo was, oh, that hit the spot. Um, honestly, just go. Deal with this crying kitty. Holy crap, I... I didn't think they would melee attack. Okay, good. Otherwise, that would have sucked. I want that item. I know it's not going to be useful, but I want it anyway. And it is a TV tower. Okay. attack from there? Yes. Die. And done. That took 22 minutes, most of which was me docking earlier. Um. Huh. thought there were more enemies than that, but, well, it's fine. Alright. Next battle. I still feel a little bad about chasing some of these battles, but... Oh. Save first. There we go. Next battle. As I was saying, I still feel a little bad about chasing some of the battles, but uh, honestly, I'm just curious to see what's here. Mop up. There's only... I'm starting with base characters. Ooh... Interesting. And they're all flyers. Oh, that would be awful if I didn't have a Vandalier. I mean, technically, this is going to take me two turns, but I would kill everyone at that point. I actually have to be careful. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Where's the chest? Directly behind me. Of course it is. Let's zoom out. And... Why do we always forget the button for that? There we go. I think going toward the left... Uh, no, going toward the right probably makes more sense. Let's start that way. Honestly, Diego could probably one-shot everything in his path at this point. Go for the far one. Why not? They're all going to be able to reach anyway. You're going to stand right next to Diego. And Ash is going to be bait. Because Ash can heal himself. It's, gonna, it's actually going to be an interesting battle. Good. I didn't want to wake those up. That's what I was hoping for by diverting over to the right. Yep. You're all oh, you're attacking Clint. Strangely smart of you. Attacking Diego from the side is fine, although you're going to die. That one didn't wake up? Really? Okay. I mean, I guess you couldn't reach anything, but you could have moved up. Dead. 
red. <laughs> and then Ash, you're going to stand here and use a healing item. Field 2 healing magic. Or healing item. Apparently not. I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way, I guess. I mean, I know I could use soul water, that's cheap, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I don't feel like looking up anything else. Um. Let's see what I was saying. So, mentioned about the food. Should drink some more water. Wait, now they're waking up? What? Okay, this is going to be a rush in order to try and get at the stupid chests. And also to make sure that Clint doesn't die. Let's go ahead and save here. Um, Clint dying is actually my biggest concern right now. And the reason why is that, uh, let's be honest, Diego could one-shot everything right now. Everything on the map can be one-shotted by two of my characters. That's why I'm going to stand here with Ash. And perfect guard. Flint. So he will take one fewer hit. This is actually a genuinely interesting battle. If I was playing without Ashes of Vandalier, I'm not entirely sure how I would do this battle. Probably very similar, but a little more guarded. Damn it, I was hoping that they'd fly the other way. Yep, you're dead. I'm gonna have to use Ash to paralyze one of them, aren't I? Yeah, I'm thinking so, because I can't reach them this turn. And they're all dying against Ash. Huh. This might have been a bad idea. Okay. Let's go ahead and save on the other. There we go. Hmm. Because I will be done this turn if I don't paralyze. And I know that there is a new spell paralyze that will... Wait, turn. There it is. The AoE paralyze. Because I only need one of them paralyzed. It doesn't matter which. That weird spell effect. Please paralyze? Okay, we're fine. I mean, both paralyzed is fine, too. Oh, just one. That's fine. You in range? Yeah, you are. Let's just not even bother with your attack. Yes, kitty. Clint can move over there. And done. Well, this is going to be a really quick battle. Um, and I received Cactuar? <laughs> Haniwa. Maybe that's what Cactuar is based off of. Um, yeah, seizing stabbings. Um, and done. That was easy. But only because of Ash. If, like I said, Ash being a Vandalier changes everything. But it was at least interesting, so I'll give them that. Even if it was only enemies. Alright. Let's go ahead and save again. This is probably where I should make a copy of the saves, so I'm going to... Hold on a moment. Alright. So, um... Let's see, what else have I been doing? I've been working on my home lab a little bit. It's not in a great state at the moment, but um, I'm trying to get it to be in a better configuration. 
I only have ash? Oh, this is hilarious. And a really long battle. Huh, I'm gonna definitely have to paralyze somebody. No, because there's ranged enemies. Um, distant. Let's go. Um. Hmm. I think my best plan is to attack the Centurion. So the main thing that I want to make sure of is that I don't bite off more than I can chew. With the initial attacks. Because none of them are mages, so I do not want to just start, um... Whatchamacallit, um... Um, casting Plasma Wave, because then I won't get the treasure in the end. And I need to get treasure, of course. I don't think this is me biting off more than I can chew. You'll notice that I'm keeping my back to the wall, and the reason for that is really simple. I have a really high chance of blocking as long as they don't attack me from behind. You're dead. I'm gonna have to be healing myself on a regular basis. Yeah, that's 100% chance of block, so I'm not too concerned about from the front. Now, I can do this. I'll be attacked from behind by one, but that should be it. The Grenadiers won't be able to hit me. Which is probably why the other one didn't even bother trying. Yep, you're the only one who can attack me from behind, and that's fine. I am below half hit points now, so I may want to heal. An interesting battle. Again, good job on the battle. Previous video had a lot of battles that were just kind of bleh. In my mind. Can't hit from behind, unfortunately. I need to move up one. How far can you move? Yeah, moving up one means I'm going to be attacked. So let's go ahead and move up one. And use... Life Orb. Why not? attacked by three enemies and hit by all three if I remember right. Oh, hit by two of the three. Oh no, you're being dumb. I guess the AI doesn't quite realize that you can't attack me from behind. Hit by none of them. Okay. Unfortunately, that means that I can't hit that. I may end up needing to magic the juggernaut away. Pull off a dynamo hum. I think that'll kill the juggernaut. Let's go. Yep. I mean, it does decent damage to the other one too, but the juggernaut was the one I was concerned about. I mean, think of it as I need an entire battlefield to even bother trying to attack me and they're still not succeeding. You're going to be in right now. Maybe I'll pop off a um, P-Wave just to eliminate that one. Am 
I mean, it's not like there's a time limit or anything, so... Gonna be a lot of turns, but it's fine. Wait, why are they moving up now that I moved? Because I do not understand their triggers. Okay, that's fine. I was up here last turn. Okay, how am I gonna deal with your grouping? Hold on a moment. So the trick for this, by the way, is to examine, then move again, and now I can actually choose what direction I'm facing. Because I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself again. Because why not use a life orb every time? So they're all in a convenient spot that I could just dynamo hum and hit all of them, but that's kind of irrelevant. And actually it isn't. Um, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Um... Back forward a bit. I should probably save again at some point. Since there are enough Grenadiers where I'm going to start taking a decent amount of damage. So they're going to attack me from behind, which is the correct option. The other two are going to attack me from behind and die. You're going to attack me from the front. I guess you don't have anything better to do anyway. Same with you. Save, right? Go. Go to behind. Magic up something. Not sure what I'm gonna magic up yet, but build one range zero isn't enough. So I'm gonna magic up an item, probably for the best. This is probably sufficient. I think. Yeah, I saved. Pretty sure it's sufficient. Hmm. It actually wasn't. Well, crap. Not that big of a deal. Means I'm gonna be bonked twice more. I'm alive. It's just hurting. Bonk. The others can only attack me from the front, so I'm fine. But you notice that I'm down to 52 hit points. This is what I meant by getting overwhelmed. What I may end up doing is moving all the way back and healing. Not the worst idea. It's just one that I want. How far can you move? You can move to here. Okay, I still have another turn where I'm fine.
this point, any spell at all will be enough damage. So you're getting a unicorn head. So I don't remember what that does. Oh, that one. Yeah, I only need to do five damage. Even Dark Star would have actually been enough, but that's only single target. Okay, next turn is healing. I know I can't take all of them without healing. And they're going to be able to wrap behind me soon enough. So much distance between me and everybody else. It's going to be even more because I'm moving all the way back to the start so I can heal. Wait, no. Standing where I am is probably better, oddly enough. Let's go ahead and use another life orb on myself. Hey, there's an email. Ah, it's just my racist neighbors. Uh, for reference, when I use the term My Racist Neighbors, what I'm talking about is Nextdoor, which is a social network for neighborhoods. And I say that just because, well, they've proven themselves to be racist many times. Not all of them are. Probably not even a majority or half. But I do live in the second most segregated city in the United States, if I remember correctly. So it's not zero. Let's deal with these Coopers. You're dead. Yeah, you're actually going to hit now. Because you can get behind me. Yep. It's expected. I'm not too concerned. I'm just taking them out one at a time. And there's enough distance between me and the other enemies where I don't have to worry as much about getting them involved. I mean, I, they don't even display on the screen at the same time. At distant zoom. Bonk. Ah. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Um... Helps if the microphone's actually closer to me, doesn't it? Whoops, sorry. I was probably a little on the quiet side. Um, go ahead and... You're going to move. Actually, now's a good time to save. Okay. Um, What else has been going on? a whole bunch. <sighs> Buying a new monitor. Had the ethical dilemma of do I give the money to Am a known evil company that might be by the name of Amazon or do I pay about 40% more for the monitor and buy it from a different evil company known as Dell, who's the manufacturer of the monitor. Um... I ended up buying it from Amazon because, let's be honest, they're, it's evil companies all the way down. And while I do consider Dell to be less evil than Amazon, it's not exactly a high barrier. And if this was an indie company of some variety, I would probably end up paying the extra 40%. I can afford it. But in this case, no. Just no. Okay, one of those two I need to keep alive. I need to remember that. Congratulations, you are the designated survivor. Well, not you, but the other one. Good for you. Hi. Thank you. I need the item. I don't know what it is. It's completely useless, but I needs it. Thonk. 
seriously. This is how, I mean, I could not have pulled this off anywhere near this strategy with Ash without being a Vandalier. Just no, that was not going to happen. This is definitely a map meant for Ash as a Vandalier. And even then this was still fairly easy. I just had to think barely. See, there was a spell that was range eight. No offense, or maybe it was a explosions range seven. Oh, I need to go there apparently. Explosion! Just me and that one grenadier left, who's gonna be lobbing grenades at my face. But I'm gonna get the treasure chest, so. Neener, neener, neener. Now I no longer care. You're gonna die next turn. And I received an old portrait, okay. And now you're dead, and I'm not. Interesting that it looks like I'm on the moon. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be a desert terrain, but there's so many craters and so on. You win! Who would have thought? Hmm. That was the same number of enemies as that first battle that we had today. Ha. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and save. Wrapping around to this one. And out of curiosity, what does it say about the items that we've been receiving? Wagon, item. Monochrome framed portrait. An unglazed statue buried around the tamal tamalias. A fried prawn, a popular toy. Okay, I was just curious. Oh. Right, actually, that's not a bad idea. Um, I know that we have a couple of items missing on a couple of on the character now. Because Zohar has nothing. I'm giving him both. There we go. Oops. All right. There. There we go. Marsh Valley. Is this something that... Oh, let me go resave just in case if this if we decide not to do this one today. It looks like the last will be for the next video. Who are you? I don't recognize that portrait at all. Okay, it's everybody. Oh, it's the valley map from earlier on in the game. Very tight crops. I have to use a flyer to get that. Interesting. And there's... There's three of them, which means two of them are mimics. Ah. Uh, let's do this one now. I'm gonna have Ash weaken things. Although this might kill them all. Hold on a moment. Are they all guardian or all guard class? No, okay, good. There's a couple of non-guard up at the top. Just wanted to make sure because otherwise they would all die. P wave. Suck it. Okay, they don't die from one hit of P wave. Good. But it does half damage to everything else. So I'm only going to get one P-Wave off. I 
That should take care of the rest over in this area. Might as well actually let Eel and I be useful. Oh, it doesn't take care of all the rest. Well, poop. I was expecting it to do four more damage. Oh, Eel and I is still not very useful. Dying. What is this music, by the way? Can I even shoot you? Yes, I can. I can shoot over that dead tree. Die plonk. Also, I'm starting on swamp. What? That's not supposed to happen. Wait, I wonder. Hold on a moment. Let's science this. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. So it must be only checking when you land, not when you start there. That makes sense because otherwise I'd be able to. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to cure it while I'm standing on it, and I know I can do that. I suppose I could have had Sohar handle things. Sohar can hit one. I don't know how depressing it is that your former awesome characters are useless now. Dang. Just stand in front. You have the ludicrously long range attack. Uh, honestly, yeah, go for it. I don't know why all of a sudden I have a super long range attack on a ninja, but you know, when everything else is centered on self, I don't get it, but that's fine. I don't need to. And that means charge. So honestly, I don't really need Huxley's healing. Ash is by far the best healer of the game. He can heal the entire party continually forever. Dolan, you're even more useless than Neil and I. Zohar, you're marginally less useless than Neil and I. And Grog, you're just in a bad spot. Um, no, I actually want you down here. All right. Yeah, my concern is that they're all going to end up poisoning themselves, and it's going to be a rush. They shouldn't all poison themselves. Not to mention, I can actually just keep that one alive now that I'm looking at it, because you can only attack two spots. Or two rows. And that's not going to be hard to deal with. So, yeah, that's probably a better idea, because I can always just, um, oh, email, um, handle things otherwise. Yeah, this is going to be longer than an hour. That's fine. Uh, how do I want to deal with you? Why the hell not? We have liftoff of the Space Shuttle Mega Guardian. Oh no, there's been a problem! Slam. Or just gone. Just gone. Okay. This is the line, and this is the line. Honestly, I can deal with the poison. It gives me something to do.
Sure, wide. Why not? Oh, it actually repeats the spell effect. I didn't realize. Oh, I would have done a regular cure. Oh, it's fine. Honestly, I don't even know if I need any of these characters. Okay, this is the safe line, so that's where I'm going to. We're all going to move up before the safe line. is more useful than some others. Honestly, we're actually moving slow enough where Dolan's not. Yeah, he's still terrible. Oh well, I tried. And in when I take up the back of Dolan. So they're both kind of useless right now. Yep, you're going to start attacking. That's fine. I have plenty of healing. You're poisoned. You're poisoned. You're poisoned! You're not. You're not. So three more poisoned. Cool. we have Clint hop over. I mean, you're almost certainly a mimic. Yeah. Don't particularly care. Just start the line. Yep, you're gonna hide behind there. Yep, so everybody needs to be in front of Kira or at the ninja line. You can't even reach. No, you actually can reach the line. Okay. So you're gonna go to there then. Honestly, this is Dolan's chance to actually catch up. Let's do that. He'll be attacked. It's fine. Oh, my housemate's back. Can I even attack? Yeah, I can. Why not? Not even give them a turn. Hit one. Why not? Hey, you can at least reach Archer Line, which is safe. You can go beyond Archer Line. Everybody else can go beyond Archer Line. Yeah, we'll have the frog go there. Yes. I could have just cast Perfect Guard on Dolan just to be a dick. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a good time to save. I think I already saved in that slot. I don't remember anymore. It's irrelevant. This is really easy. Um, that's still danger zone, so I'm actually going to have you go stand there. Sure. This is casting it anyway. Um. And back. Okay. Um, there's only two enemies left. <laughs> Sarah, you haven't attacked anything recently. Okay. Now I just need to have flyers go as far as they can without getting hit by poison. Or maybe with getting hit by poison. And... You just need to move out of the way. I mean, at this point, this is just a waiting game to reach the end where there's going to be one mimic and one not. I'm predicting that the one on the bottom is the mimic. I mean, it's a 50-50 shot. It's kind of irrelevant, but, you know. Life orbed. This is what I meant by I don't even know why I bothered moving anybody else. All right. I think this is a mimic. I was wrong. It's grounded ground Java. So coffee. Which means you're the mimic. And you're dead. Sorry, you need to move two over, not one. And that's it. That was just a few minutes over. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I guess I now have coffee. I don't know what else you could call ground Java in this case. Ah. I don't remember which of my flyers picked it up. Was it Eamon? No. That means it's Darius. No, I guess it went to the wagon. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, yeah, I did. Soft taste with the harmony of milk. <sighs> okay. I'm not a coffee drinker, so. Let's go ahead and save. And next time, which I'm just going to stop and start recording after I finish having lunch, 
um, next time, I'll finish the game, I guess. Bye, Internet.